Previously on Adrian Florine's Video Diary. I'm going to hitchhike to Portland to get a car. What kind of car? Mercedes Benz 300D. Bye. Bye. I love you. And now, please enjoy Adrian Florine's Video Diary from January 10th and 11th, 2017. People, I just want to show you how Eugene fell asleep. He fell asleep with Marley acting as a footrest. Marley, you must be a very tolerant cat. Marley. And now he's moved to the couch where he's cuddling with a different cat. Oh my gosh, why is she doing this? She did this to my friend who was visiting a few days ago. She wouldn't stop, like, posting and biting his fingers. What's so special about my fingers? Is it because I was touching fish? I washed my hands like three times since putting the fish in the pan, but apparently the cats can still smell out my fingers to the point where they're trying to, like, bite my fingers. Wow, look at that. Really interested in my fingers. Ow! Hey! She thinks she's sliding a fish out of the water, apparently. Wow, she actually scratched me. That's cute. My boyfriend is in Oregon buying a car. And while he's in Oregon, I am taking the opportunity, while his slobness is not in my home, to reorganize my home. I am now feeding the cats on top of these storage bins rather than on the floor, which will definitely keep the floor a lot cleaner. The only thing that went wrong is one of the cats knocked a full bowl of water off of the bin onto the floor and I stepped in it in the middle of the night. <sighs> to my dismay because the water was like really cold and I was like half asleep and I kind of screamed in a panic because I was startled when the cold water hit my feet. <laughs> so, these are organized clothes. Those boxes back there are clothes that were clean and organized until the cats decided to use them as beds. The laundry, at least the top layer of laundry, will definitely need to be washed. Look at that. Look at all that hair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's the pillow my boyfriend got me yesterday. It's now a pillow for the cats. And I started to wash the dishes. Started. I got about that many washed. And also that pan that I used to cook some fish. However, I started to have a problem 
the sink started to fill up with water as you can see it's pretty full and the water's not draining on either side so I'm gonna have to take dishes out one at a time and wash them in the bathroom sink or take all the dishes out declog the drains and then wash them in here but either way it's gonna be a major ordeal <laughs> At least I have the cute cats to keep me company. Eugene, do you want some fish? You want fish? We're gonna have fish for lunch. Eugene's eating fish for lunch, and he's sharing it with Marley. Marley's going to eat it. You're not stopping him. <laughs> he pushed Marley away. Don't push Marley away with the fork. Just eat your lunch. Finish eating your lunch. <laughs> Other cats are begging as well, but not like Marley is. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, What happened? Marley's eating your lunch. <laughs> Marley, you're free to eat it. I just saw the neighbor's son swing what looked like a baseball bat or a golf club or something. I think it was a golf club at the other neighbor's dog. He was like stalking my chickens and Oh, Blue Dream jumped on my neck again. And it was caught on camera this time. Yes, the neighbor's dog was stalking my chickens, and he ran all the way around my property into the other neighbor's yard, and the other neighbor's son, who's about 12 years old, came out with what looked like a golf club and chased the dog away. Then I went out and chased the dog away as well. Yeah, there's a kitty up there on my back. Ow! Ow! Oh, thank you, Eugene. You made the kitty jump off my back. <laughs> I got another box of pretty litter in the mail. The cats are waiting to use it, but I actually changed the litter boxes to completely new litter last night before I went to bed. So I'm not going to use the pretty litter until tonight or tomorrow. But I think my video files from the last time that my cats tried pretty litter on camera may have been corrupted. So I'm going to check them. I may have to redo my video where my cats try pretty litter. You can't even see it because it's in the shadow. It's a beef bone from some beef ribs that I cooked last night. And the cats have gnawed most of the meat off of the bone, but not all of it. My boyfriend got the car that he went up to Oregon to get, but now he's having car problems. And I'm really worried, I really hope that he didn't spend money on another car that's going to break down on us. So, I am here at home with Eugene and the cats and the chickens and other birds and stuff. And I've been here for like two and a half days by myself. Oh, and I'm talking really softly because Eugene's still asleep. He was actually up until past 6 a.m. last night. He was like running wildly from end to end in the house just screaming. And I've given him almost nothing with sugar in it since my boyfriend left. Because I thought that maybe the problem was my boyfriend was giving him, like, a lot of snacks with sugar. So I've given him almost nothing with sugar, and he's been calmer, but still really hyper. And this coffee that my boyfriend bought before he left is, like, really strong. It has a really strong taste of, like, burned espresso. 
tastes like a cup of very dark coffee with a burnt espresso aftertaste. And look how creamy it is. Can you see that? Can you see how much cream I put into it? It's pretty creamy. But it's still really strong tasting. Mmm. My boyfriend is also possibly going to buy a computer for me that's for sale in Portland. I have to actually go over to my computer over there and email the guy who's selling the computer and give him my boyfriend's phone number. I just didn't get to do it last night because I didn't get a chance to sit and relax. Eugene was just like running around hyper from end to end in the house and then he didn't want to go to bed because he kept looking at his pillow and saying, Dada! And I was like, you don't want to go to bed until Dada comes home? And he said, yeah. And then I said, well, Dada's not coming home tonight, so you have to go to bed. Because if you wait until Dada comes home, you're not going to be going to bed tonight. Anyway, he went to bed at like 6.30, almost 7 in the morning. So it's now like almost noon. And he actually woke up for about an hour or two between like 9 and 11 in the morning and went back to sleep. So <laughs> even though he was up until 6 a.m. yesterday, he didn't sleep a full night of sleep before waking up and going wild and hyper again. And at least he fell back to sleep again after that. And I'm waiting for Jeremy who was supposed to be here a long time ago, maybe like 20 or 30 minutes ago, and he hasn't gotten here yet, but that's okay. He'll get here when he gets here. I'm going to end this little video diary right now because I'm like too tired to talk coherently, and I'm sure when I go to edit this video for the later, I'm going to say, wow, I sound so incoherent. It's unbelievable. All right, bye guys. See you later. Stay tuned for scenes from next Monday's episode of Adrian Florine's Video Diary. I'm at Kmart. I got a ride here because my boyfriend is still up in Oregon, and there's a problem. Look how sold out of cat food Kmart is. They don't have any cases, and that is all of the large cans of cat food they have. Wow. I got almost all of the cat food that they had on the shelf at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> as well as some cans of tuna and chicken and other canned meats that will be both for me and Eugene and the cats. While I was at Kmart, my boyfriend called me on the phone. It turns out that he needs something repaired, two things repaired, on the brakes. It means he's going to be stuck up there for one, maybe two more days. Or maybe even the whole weekend. Who knows?